guys and welcome to my channel my name is Sonia if you're uh, brand new to my channel um, today I will be sharing a couple different freezer meal um, freezer meals their breakfast freezer meals that I will be pre making for the summer for my kids just to be able to pop them in a the microwave or in a toaster without me um, having to help them they're um, Teenagers, so technically they really shouldn't need any help, but I'm just trying to give them a little bit more healthier options than just uh, cereal so um if you don't know, I work from home, I run a home daycare, and um, my husband works from home as well, but we're both way too busy in the mornings to be spending, especially around 9, 10 o'clock when my teenagers would be waking up, um, to be spending preparing um, breakfast or anything like that. My kids know how to make scrambled eggs, I think that's about it. Uh, I don't do instant oatmeal, most of uh, I do cook oatmeal from steel cut oats so if that's something that we're gonna be having that morning for breakfast I'll most likely make a whole batch of them first thing in the morning but just something that they can just do it themselves so I'm going to be preparing uh, egg sandwiches I'm gonna be doing um, wraps um, but I just realized that I forgot to buy tortillas so I'm going to go to the store tomorrow so I'll finish to finish it tomorrow then I'm gonna make pancakes and waffles and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of different uh, good for you muffins um, so that's what I have on the plan for the on the menu for the freezer meals right now so without further ado I'm going to get started the first thing that I'm going to get started is I'm going to cook my um, bacon and I'm not sure if you guys know but if you put a bacon inside uh, unheated oven and then preheated while the bacon is inside the bacon will stay it's supposed to stay straight without curling up. I have done this before and it did work so I'm going to give it a try again so I'm going to put that in turn my oven to 350 and let it cook so that way it's ready for when I'm ready to assemble the sandwiches so while the baking is cooking I will be making my pancake batter and my waffle batter and for pancake batter I am using my uh, mixer right blender blender and I have a recipe that I will link down below for the um, pancake uh, batter that I made uh, this is a great recipe um, I have done it many times the only thing that I've started using differently is um, on occasions I will make it with buttermilk and it tastes so much better than the other one tastes good, but buttermilk just takes it to a next level. So I will be using buttermilk now, and I'm making a double batch. Three cups of flour, and I'm using whole wheat for, for this. You need seven teaspoons of baking powder. I'm using a tablespoon, because that would be two tablespoons and one teaspoon and then one teaspoon of salt and I'm just going to pulsate this okay and it created like a nice well and I'm going to add two and a half cups of um, buttermilk one egg and some coconut uh, oil So for my waffle, waffles you need three bowls, then you need cake flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, eggs, vanilla, coconut uh, 
oil, milk, which I will still be using the buttermilk, and a waffle iron. So I will be making a double batch. So this yields eight to 10. So I'll make a double batch. So I need four cups of cake flour. Then I need four teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix this up and set it aside. Then I'm going to use these two. And I need eight eggs. And you need to separate your eggs. Make sure you wash your eggs, hands well after that. So then over here, I will add two tablespoons of xylitol. And I'm going to use a wooden spoon to beat it. And you wanna do it until the eggs turn pale yellow or the xylitol has had a chance to dissolve a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna add vanilla extract. And I need one teaspoon. And then I need four tablespoons. Actually, I will need about eight tablespoons of coconut oil. And then I'm going to add buttermilk and I need four cups. Don't think I'll have four cups in here, but I'll just do the rest milk. I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm going to whisk my egg whites. Now I'm, now I'm going to combine all this together. Now I'm going to be making healthy pumpkin muffins and I'm gonna, I have a recipe that I'm following. Turn my oven up to 375. I'm using some pumpkin pie spice that I made myself. So you need old fashioned rolled oats, pumpkin pie spice, some baking soda, some salt, two eggs, almond milk, Then one cup of pumpkin puree, maple syrup, vanilla, and <coughs> coconut oil. So they're right here. So then I'm supposed to pu puree <coughs> the oats. So I need three cups. that flour light dump it in there then I'm going to add pumpkin, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice half a teaspoon one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt now I'm supposed to mix all this together I'm going to set it aside and then in a large bowl I'm going to um, 
whisk eggs, milk, pumpkin puree, maple syrup, coconut oil and vanilla. Whisk all this together. I just have to clean some of this up. I'm going to gently fold the dry ingredients. I'm using my Pampered Chef stone that I am going to grease up with some coconut oil. These are good to keep in the freezer for up to uh, three months. And my muffin scooper or that I use for pancakes too, it's from Pampered Chef. And into the oven they go for 15 to 18 minutes, probably gonna do about 20 minutes because of the stone. Now I'm making healthy chocolate peanut butter banana muffins. So everything goes into a blender except the chocolate chip. So two bananas. It asks for ripe ones. I unfortunately do not have ripe bananas. So I'm just using regular one. They're okay. They're just not over ripened. Two eggs. Then half a cup of creamy unsalted peanut butter. Then I need about two teaspoons of vanilla, some one third of a cup of maple syrup, if you don't have maple syrup I'm sure you can use honey too, then three quarters of a cup of almond milk, two cups of rolled oats, And then cocoa powder, it says to do three quarters of a cup, but I don't think I have enough. So I'm just using about half a cup. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. And some salt, half a teaspoon. And now I'm going to blend it all as soon as I find my lid. Okay, and I'm going to add half a cup of chocolate chips. About half a cup. and now I'm going to put it in my muffin pan. Same, I have two of these, oil it up. And this is going in for 20 minutes as well. So the bacon turned out really good and now I'm going to transfer it onto a paper towel so it has a chance to uh, drain a little bit. So before I start cooking, uh, making my pancakes and my waffles, I will scramble up my eggs and put them in the oven to cook, just to save myself some time. And I will be making 12 of them, so I will use 12 eggs. And I am just going to scramble them up with some salt and pepper, that's it. So I had oiled my Pyrex dish with some uh, avocado oil and my eggs are ready so i will be adding it in here i'm gonna put it in the oven let it cook and now uh, i'm gonna start working on my pancakes and waffles so i am preheating my cast iron flat 
top thingy and then also my waffle iron and I use um, coconut oil to oil both of them and I just remembered I will be adding some chocolate chips into the pancake mix because my kids love everything chocolate so the pancakes are cooking the waffles are cooking my egg is done it's a little dome it's just go going down now and then my pancakes are done just about I'm on my last batch and I'm still working through the waffles while the waffles are still making I think I have maybe half a batch left um, I have cut up some cheese the eggs have calmed down uh, I will give these a light toast so that way because my kids like them a little bit toasted just gonna move it to one and a half and I'm going to start assembling them I will be using uh, stupid trying to find something that is a perfect size so that would be a perfect size to cut my eggs out here are my cutouts and so I'm putting two slices of cheese one slice of bacon divided an egg and that's it they can put uh, if they want they can put uh, salsa or ketchup after when they're microwaving so here are all of them all done i will be packaging them i have some food wrap and some ziploc bags and parchment paper so here here they all are i got two ziploc bags of waffles one ziploc bag of egg sandwiches and i individually wrapped them with a saran wrap or cling wrap and then put them in a ziploc bag See, I did the same thing for muffins and uh, the waffles and pancakes have parchment paper between them. The last breakfast that I will be making are tortilla egg sandwiches, like egg wraps. And I'm using this 100% uh, whole wheat tortillas from Blue Menu PC. About 14 eggs, some red pepper, an onion, baby spinach, and some shredded cheese. So first what I'm gonna start is I'm going to cut up my veggies and saute them. I'm also going to throw in some bacon. So here they are all wrapped up. I am going to put them in the Ziploc bag now and then put them in the freezer. <laughs> 